The question is some feel that individuals should have the right to strike in all jobs while others feel there are exceptions. Discuss both sides and give your own opinion. The right to strike is a fundamental aspect of industrial relations and employee rights. However, the issue of whether all workers should have the right to strike or if there should be exceptions has been debated by scholars and policymakers. This essay will examine both perspectives and offer my own opinion on the matter. On the one hand, some argue that all workers should have the right to strike as a means of expressing their grievances and advocating for better working conditions. This view maintains that the right to strike is a fundamental human right and that all employees should be able to use it to protest against unfair treatment or unsafe work environments. Furthermore, they argue that without this right, workers may be subject to exploitative practices by their employers, leading to poor working conditions, low wages, and poor job security. On the other hand, there are those who argue that there should be exceptions to the right to strike, particularly for workers in essential services such as healthcare, public transportation, and emergency services. The proponents of this view contend that the right to strike in these fields can pose a risk to public safety, and that such strikes can have far-reaching and damaging effects on society as a whole. For example, a strike by healthcare workers could result in a lack of care for patients, potentially leading to serious health risks and even fatalities. In my opinion, while the right to strike is an important aspect of worker rights, there should be exceptions for certain essential services, as the potential risks and harm to the public are too great. However, in non-essential fields, all workers should have the right to strike if they feel it is necessary to advocate for their rights and welfare. Furthermore, there should be proper regulations and procedures in place to ensure that strikes are conducted in a peaceful and orderly manner and that workers are not unfairly penalized for exercising their right to strike. In conclusion, the right to strike is an essential aspect of worker rights, but there should be exceptions for certain essential services. Ultimately, it is crucial to strike a balance between protecting worker rights and ensuring public safety, and proper regulations and procedures should be in place to guide the exercise of the right to strike.